They're the consummate distributors of delectable spirits. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic global liquor brands. I must say, damn good stuff, sir. For this list, we're not counting down the most delicious liquors, but the most respected brands around the world. Scotch drinker? Oh, ah, yeah, that's, that's my kind of guy. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ah. <laughs> Number 10, Absolute. What can I get you? A screwdriver, please. What kind of vodka? Absolute, please. Absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> Produced in Ohus, Sweden, beginning in 1879, this brand initially distinguished itself with its use of a new distillation process and its creator's clever marketing skills. Absolute took on the Stockholm vodka monopoly by selling from an island outside the city and offering free ferry service to customers. That same competitive spirit inspired the company's global expansion in the late 1970s. Utilizing a uniquely shaped bottle and eye-catching text, Absolute caught the public's fancy. He based the design on a traditional 18th century pharmacy bottle that he found in an antique shop in the Old Town in Stockholm. Oh, and Andy Warhol even pitched in during the mid-80s. Grey Goose, another iconic vodka, is also worthy of mention as a premium brand. But the edge goes to Absolute, absolutely. What is this, ice? Um, Absolute on ice. Ah. Mmm. Number 9, Hennessy. This essential nightclub drink brand was created in 1765 by an Irishman living in France and quickly developed a reputation for its smoothness. Owned by Moe Hennessy, which is in turn co-owned by Louis Vuitton, Moe Hennessy and Diageo, this brand is now known the world over. Long a favorite drink for the elder connoisseurs of fine spirits, Hennessy has earned popularity within the hip-hop community, as the late Tupac Shakur often noted his love for the famous cognac brand. He was hardly alone. More than 40% of the cognac bought worldwide comes from Hennessy. You're going to need lots of cognac, the best, Hennessy. Number 8, Tanqueray. Pick up some gin for me, Tanqueray. I love the color of the bottle. You love what's in it. You know the deal. Tonight, we Tanqueray. All sexy and insinuating with its classic green bottle facade, this London dry gin was first introduced in England. The man behind the spirit madness was Mr. Charles Tanqueray, who set up shop in 1838. Surprisingly and fortunately, his distillery managed to survive the Axis bombing of World War II. Let's all be thankful for the lasting legacy of the drink. The fictional marketing guru known as Tony Sinclair. Ready to Tanqueray? Endless musical references by artists who love them some sweet old Tanqueray. Later on that day, my homie Dr. Dre came through with a gang of Tanqueray. Number seven, Jose Cuervo. Tequila is my lady, my lady. Come on in, guys. Come on in, come on in. You're welcome. Okay, it's time to make things right for the honorable Don Jose Antonio de Cuervo. This man, who first introduced his brand of tequila in 1795, often receives a bad rap thanks to irresponsible drinkers. His descendants still manage the Mexican brand, which is now the best-selling tequila in the world. The drink can be enjoyed through a variety of blends, but one thing's for certain, one shot is usually not enough for most. Incidentally, there's plenty of tequila to go around when Don Julio and Patron also make their way to the party. Number 6, Chivas Regal. That's 50% more expensive. Fleischmann's is Chivas Regal. Chivas Brothers began creating whiskies in Scotland back in 1801, but the company didn't coin the name Chivas Regal until a hundred years later. The beauty of Chivas Regal comes from the aging process of blended whiskies, which resulted in the world's first luxury scotch. It's undoubtedly a favorite among spirit authorities, and it was the drink of choice for the Rat Pack and their leader, Frank Sinatra. Surely a man of good tastes. Whether it's a 12, 18, or 25-year-old product, this brand makes anybody feel like a refined intellectual. Double Chivas on the rocks. Double Chivas on the rocks. Bring him two doubles so we can catch up. <laughs> two doubles, all right, I'll be right back. Number five, 
Captain Morgan. Before you move on to somebody else, you should probably get over your breakup with Captain Morgan. While the Chivas Regal brand reflects high society, this affordable yet esteemed Puerto Rican rum evokes thoughts of vacations and spring break. Introduced during the World War II era, Captain Morgan sports the iconic pirate on its bottle, with one foot confidently propped atop a barrel. The brand made its way stateside in 1984 with its original spiced rum, and thirsty Americans embraced the memorable marketing campaign. The Captain Morgan. Its influence was made abundantly clear when the NFL had to regulate players taking on the Captain Morgan pose during celebrations, part of a sly marketing scheme by its manufacturer. Begging your pardon, lad, but I have a hundred-year itch that can only be scratched by a long, dark drink of Captain and Cole R. Number 4. Jack Daniels Bring us a menu and double Jack Daniels on the rock. In the land of the free, this Tennessee brand has the whiskey manufacturing game on lock. But believe it or not, the region where Jack Daniels is manufactured does not allow the sale of alcohol. Still, as the best-selling American whiskey around the world, it can be easily accessed elsewhere. Founder Jack Daniel was born in America, but came from Welsh, Scots-Irish, and Scottish stock. And he was a purveyor of good times back in the 19th century. His reputation was made when his brand was named the finest whiskey at the 1904 World's Fair. Unfortunately, Jack would succumb to blood poisoning a few years later. Fortunately, the 80-proof number 7 lives on. Old Gentleman Jack. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a cure for anger? There is. It's called Jack Daniels. Hmm. Another one of your jokes, huh? I wish. Number three, Bacardi. I ordered us a couple of Bacardi mojitos. Mojito, eso está muy bien. Rich in both taste and history, this family-owned brand came to be when a couple of brothers emigrated from Spain to Cuba in 1830. Not only did Bacardi White Rum survive the Cuban War of Independence nearly 60 years later, but it managed to evade Fidel Castro and the 1950s Cuban Revolution by setting up shop in the Bahamas. One of the brand's famous supporters was Ernest Hemingway, who wrote some of his acclaimed novels while thoroughly getting ripped on Bacardi, allegedly. By 1964, the brand expanded by establishing its American headquarters in Miami, Florida. Thank you, Hemingway, and thank you, Bacardi. The lady will have a Bacardi on the rocks. Number two, Smirnoff. It was invented with Smirnoff in Los Angeles. Oh, oh well, LA. then we'll take two of those OG LA uh, Moscow mules. When Dostoevsky was writing his classic Russian novels in 1860s St. Petersburg, a Moscow man named Pyotr Arsenyevich Smirnoff was toiling away on a brand new drank. No, not purple drank. That's the ingredient, sugar, water, <laughs> and of course, purple. This was what you might call a mind eraser, as too much Smirnoff means the obliteration of your memories. With a lean bottling design and that iconic red labeling, Smirnoff remains in wide demand thanks to its Russian authenticity. Today, one can find numerous malt beverages stemming from the brand, but there's nothing quite like the original red label drink. What's this one's claim to fame? It's just really good vodka. Before we pour a glass of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Our prized liquid is given its green glass jacket and sent out to be shared with the world. <laughs> Beef Eater, London Dry Gin presents the Beef Eater Gin and Tonic Experience. We're content to spend our time handcrafting a whiskey that's always full flavored, yet remarkably easy to drink. <laughs> Number one, Johnny Walker. Officer, I saw the driver hit me. His name was Johnny Walker. <laughs> Surely there's plenty of Johnny Walkers roaming the world, but they will always be overshadowed by this Scotch whiskey brand. The crazy thing about the original innovator, John, Johnny Walker himself, was that he didn't actually drink. He simply made the best damn Scotch ever. He moves to town. He opens a shop and he blends whiskies. In the early days, it was sold in a grocery store and it's now become the preeminent spirit for anyone with a general knowledge of good liquor. But you didn't ask me for no dry ice. You asked me for two cases of Johnny Walker Black Label and four ladies of the pole. And I got them for you, didn't I? The Johnny Walker brand has been relatively conservative with new blends. However, you can't go wrong with a red, a black, or even that Johnny Walker swing. 
<laughs> Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite iconic liquor brand? For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah.